Full circle to me means a return to your essence, to the things that matter and make your story unique. We balance work, family, self-care, and so many other areas we are passionate about. Staying true to your vision and centered is vital. We play many roles during the day. Coming full circle means returning to what makes you so uniquely you. I am thrilled to launch this new video series and share inspiring thoughts with the pros I rely on to keep me centered. I am Anna Cheryl. Join me on this journey. Hi everyone, I'm here with my good friend Natalie G, the co-founder of G Beauty, and we're gonna ask her some questions today. She's a woman who inspires me, helps me feel more beautiful every day, oh, shares her tips on everything. Thank so um, I wanted to have her with us so she could share some of her her story of uh, where she's from, how she started G Beauty, and uh, thank you so much for thank being you with for us having today. Me. Yes, yeah. so exciting. So can you tell us how you started G Beauty? Yes. So G Beauty is a family founded business. We right. are um, four women. And we really started it because we wanted to have a modern destination for women and men to come to get time sensitive services and really a selection of products that really met their lifestyle. Something that was accessible, attainable, easy, and really fun was very important to us and one of the reasons why we started the company. Yeah, they, they actually give you um, tips, they make up tips how to put your makeup on, lessons. Yeah, um, we really, we, we want to share make, a lot. Yeah, we want to make beauty fun. We want to make it feel like you don't have to get dressed up or there has to be a special occasion. It should be as important as brushing your teeth or going to the gym or getting your favorite coffee. You know, it should be things that you do all the time. So that's yeah. really why, um, you know, we love having you, but we, we love being in communities and neighborhoods where it's like, you know, you've got your gym next door, you've got your coffee shop, you've got your dry cleaners, it's all just in one. Exactly. Yeah. No, I love it. So I come here for a little bit of everything um, to get a facial, to get my eyebrows done, purchase makeup, skincare products. Um, they're the pros in town. Well, we have a different take on beauty and lifestyle. You know, we're a multi-generational beauty brand. So that really means that you can come into G Beauty um, at 15, at 25, 45, at 85, and you can get something that's relatable and that really works for you in your lifestyle. So that's super important. So when you look at the four G women, we represent a different time of our life. And just because you're 25 doesn't mean you can't relate to the person who is, you know, 25 years older than you, uh, or vice versa. So it's nice that you can just share the knowledge there as well. We're like, we're super, super happy to be able to offer that. We really make sure that when we're inside our business, we treat our business with respect. And I think that's really important because it is an extension of you and you want to, listen, we all have things that go on in our personal lives, but I think that it's really important to show your, yourself, your business, and your clients that you're really showing up for them, you know, and then therefore they come back to you. So yeah, it's a nice. It's just a nice lesson. But yeah, it's a it's a fi family feel too. Yeah, when you come feel. in, yeah. the energy here is always great. I wanted to ask you, what inspires and motivates you? Well, I think my family inspires and motivates me. You know, I have three young kids. I have an amazing wife, and so I get up and I come to work for them. I want to really show my children that you know their moms are passionate and excited. So that really motivates me. My team at work, um, both in Miami and Toronto, super motivating because you want to show up for the people that show up for you That's every right. day, and that are my clients and community. I know that everyone is looking for answers to you know beauty lifestyle from me, and I want to show up and I want to really give it to them. So. So it's like a trifecta, you family, do. team, clients. Yeah, it's it's great. How do you center yourself and find balance between life and work? I don't. I love. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I love your honesty. Thank yes, you. <laughs> there is no honestly. There is no balance. Oh. Like when I am at home, Rachel, like my wife, will tell me repeatedly to get off my phone because I'm, you know, because in this digital age, we are accessible 24 hours. So there, there really isn't balance. We find it in those moments, like in, in the moments where we are present, we, we find the balance. I think it's the most honest way of really explaining it. Yeah. It's Sunday morning getting a bagel, it's Saturday nights climbing into bed super early. You know, I've been grateful for the time since really the quarantine happened that we can just kind of be at home with our family and so that really accelerated balance. Absolutely. But I think it's just finding the moment instead of sort of um, overall like the pressure of when or hours to do to our days but working out has been incredible. I mean we yeah. both love 
to work out and I think that it's huge just for your own mental balance. That time that you're working out is just, it's so, so, so important. And Did you, you keep your that. morning routine for that during that I time? I changed it. You know, I've been getting up a lot earlier in the mornings now and I'll do like a little meditation in the morning, which Excellent. I never did before. Yeah. And I feel like that's made a huge just change in kind of just calming and finding peace within yourself and then working out in the morning has been amazing. Yeah. My morning routine has just gotten better. You know, I have like my green juice now in the morning. So I found that waking up early has really helped. You know, it's really helped me. What effect has COVID played on your business? What negative and positive effects has it had? I mean, it's, yes, for sure. It's challenging. You know, business is challenging pre-COVID, right? You always want to be servicing people, you, you know, your clients. You want to be bringing the best of the best to them all the time. And there are challenges that happen. Um, there's natural competition worldwide. Certainly our exposure to like the digital world, people can get something from anywhere. And it's really about showing why you love something. I believe that, you know, in order to be successful, it's really about proving and not proving, but believing in why you love something, why it works. You know, you create that that idea of like love and passion and connection. But I mean, the negative thing, I mean, listen, not being able to be in operation was extremely challenging. Of course. Having a team to take care of is obviously extremely challenging. These are very realistic things that have happened. Yeah. You want to protect your team and your clients in a safe environment. Those things are challenging because it's constant work. Yeah. Um, it's work that you love, but it is constant. Positive. I would, I would have to say is that really um, kindness has like taken over everything. That's the most and beautiful understanding thing. understanding has taken care of everything. You know, people are dealing with this impact, this pandemic in very different ways and we cannot judge how people. Yeah, but you gave women like such a positive yes. um, face on Instagram. Yes. You were always so happy, yes. such a beautiful yes. um, message. You were always there to share yeah. some fun tips, give us a fresh look. I yeah. mean, for me, it's so important to get up and get ready, yes. even if you don't have to go anywhere yeah. because you just feel better yeah. if you freshen your face 100%. up and do something for yourself. I was you not know? on camera at all like before COVID and then like a couple of days into it I was I just said to myself you know what let me just show what I'm doing and I was not like half as good at makeup as I was then as I am now so just going <laughs> to show you that you practice, practice like <laughs> yeah I was there showed up every day but I agree with you I was wearing my sweatpants it just made me feel better about even within my routine showing and sharing my makeup tricks and my lifestyle tips things that really helped women and men feel better. It was just like a nice conversation that we were having. And then it, it was like, very generous. Grew. You were yes. there for everybody. Yeah. Every day. It was beautiful. It was great. And I'm st we're still doing it. Even, you know, if you're watching it at 12 in the afternoon, 12 in at night, yeah. nine in the morning, it doesn't matter. But yes, it's a nice way to share information. And it's just the same if thing. If you're not you're following doing Natalie, too. you have to follow her because Thank she you. is, she knows she's so fun. Like you, you, ask, you let people ask questions, yeah. you answer stuff. Yeah. I think it's so fun. Yeah, I no, love that. Communication is so important. As we know, in any relationship, communication is so important. And you want to give out as much as you take in. So, or even more, actually. If you can, yeah. 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 That's great. Totally. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. What would you say to your younger self? Oh, well, oh my gosh. What would you say to your younger self I today? I would say, you know, I stressed so much as like a young woman. Um, like I just stressed about everything. Superficial things, um, unsuperficial things, like things that were really important. I would definitely say to my younger self, try it all, don't be afraid and it will get better you know it will get better because i do believe that with experience in life everything gets better and you just fall into yourself yeah. in such a stronger way yeah yeah we get so, more confident yeah, you get more older yeah get. exactly yeah, absolutely just, yeah, yeah experience is everything yeah experience is everything and just keep going don't stress it and you know not even have fun because i i do believe that you you're always going to enjoy whatever it is in the moment but just to, um, it just gets better, you know, just just gets better. Yeah, yeah. and every yeah. experience brings you to the next. And so every, they're, they're exactly. perfect, each yeah. one is perfect yeah. even when they're hard. <laughs> exactly, but that's what makes them worth it, you know? Yeah. Coming out of COVID, it was so, it is so hard, but it's so worth it when you do make those connections with people or you do things like this. Right. It's like, you know, you've, you've, gotta, you've gotta say yes, and I really believe in saying yes to everything. I wanted to ask also, what yes. keeps you going through difficult times? I think what keeps me going through difficult times is of course like love from family and you know my close family, my extended family, but really nutrition. Like I know it's mm. kind of a crazy answer, but I think the better the better fed I am, the more 
I can see and feel better, and that helps like me navigate. Obviously, the workout and you know you you love your friends. Diet and exercise is everything. I think it, everything. Yeah, yeah, I think but, it really is. But, like I think it's that balance, you know, yeah. and then just making sure that you know like I'm having lots of fruit and veggies. Like I just think that that is. I agree. Right? Yeah. Like, I just think that at least has a helped. seventy thirty kind of on that. Totally. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. Absolutely. There's and lots water. of lots yeah. of water. <laughs> There's lots of wine too, <laughs> but I do yeah, think that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to keep it like real, but I do think that like. I, it's now become so much a part of me that I wake up in the morning and I crave like my green juice. You Amazing. Know? Yeah, yeah, so it's love great. It. Yeah, it's fun. What was the tipping point of your business? Wow, there has been many tipping points to the business. Well, certainly I think a tipping point to moving to Miami, which yeah. really like was the catalyst for everything, is really my father. I mean, he is um, from British descent, so he tried to move to the States the U.S. before he moved to Toronto, before he moved to Canada. He actually was denied his visa in, in oh, the nice. U.S. in the 70s. I didn't know and that. it was his dream to get back to the States. So year one of us being in Toronto in our company, he said, we've got to get to, to the States. We've got to get to Florida. And when we finally came to finding the location, I was a nervous wreck. This was over nine years ago, and I thought there's no way that I can open up another business in Miami or in the state. Right. And he said to me, he said, Natalie, he said, whether you decide to do it or not is not the question, but how would you feel if you didn't take the space and you walked by that first location and you thought, would I have wanted to do it? You know, years later, if you hadn't done it, I, thought, oh, I, you love know, that. I just don't want to go about and go about my life thinking, could I have done it? Not right. should I, shouldn't I, but could I could have? I. And I thought that was really the tipping point because it brought us to Miami, it brought us to this location, it brought me to so many things, including this conversation. Right. And it was really the, do I want to live my life thinking that I not missed an opportunity, but that I didn't take the opportunity. So that was really like the tipping point. So my dad. Oh yay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so thank you great. for sharing thank everything you. with us. Thank um, you so much for having those. Great. Ever want a beauty tip? Thank you. Fabulous skincare. The staff here is friendly. It's a family-owned business. Thank so, you. Um, thank again, you for having Natalie. me. Yeah, yeah I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you.